Welcome back. Okay, so listen, Nomad Cosmetics sent your girl their latest eyeshadow palette, okay? And it is very, very cool, very, very unique, very, very spooky. I love the shades and I think you guys probably will too. So listen, this is what the box for the palette looks like. It says Nomad and Haunted Europe, okay? Very spooky has the little bats on here. Very, very perfect for Halloween, okay? And on the back of the box, as usual, you do see the shades, you see palette information, ingredients, things like that. So very cool, but that is not the most unique and spooky part of this palette, okay? It's the palette itself. So this is what the palette itself looks like, okay? As you can see, has this little picture on here, very spooky and Halloween-esque. But let me give you guys a closer look at this palette, okay? But take a look at this palette, you guys. It is one of those shifting palettes. So the picture on front, it changes as you shift it. So it goes kind of like from a normal picture to this little spooky picture here with a little skull <laughs> but yeah it's really really cool you guys I like it a lot and this is what the inside of the actual palette looks like so as you can see a nice combination of dark spooky shades it has a few golds in here brightening shades your neutral shades but I love it has the purple the blue the green um, and the names are all very haunting names, okay? So, yeah, I think it's a really cool palette. I personally don't do Halloween, you know, and all the spooky, scary stuff. I mean, I'm not into getting scared and spooked. I don't like any of the, you know, knots and universal haunted nights. I will not go. My husband tries to get me to go all the time. I will not go because I don't like being scared. I don't watch scary movies, none of that, okay? So your girl is a straight up chicken, okay? I don't <laughs> like anything or anybody scaring me, okay? So let me just tell you what Nomad has to say about this palette while you check out some swatches. Okay, so it says the palette, devilishly delightful array of dark and haunted shades from blood-stained crimsons and eerie forest greens to gravestone grays and autumn golds. Very, very pretty, you guys. Nine ravishing mats and nine picturesque shimmers. Entombed by a castle scene that transforms from ordinary to ghastly right before your eyes. Okay, so <laughs> very dramatic. Now, with each palette that Nomad comes out with, they do choose a different charity or cause to support with a certain percentage of the profits from their palettes going towards that cause. And the cause for this palette is Bat Conservation International. So very cool and definitely fits the theme of this palette. So just a first impressions on this palette after using it. I really like it a lot. When I first um, took a look at the palette, I was like, okay, it's deep, dark, smoky, mysterious, but there's also, you know, like the golds and orangey shades in here, you know, smoky purples and reds. So I feel like it's a very nice, well-rounded palette, to be honest with you, although it's not the super bright, bold colorful type of palette there is a nice range of colors in here so this is the look i came up with today from this palette and i really like it a lot i wanted to come up with something that kind of gave a feel of 
spookiness, kind of like mysterious, a haunted night, you know. And hopefully I achieved that with this look. I did go ahead with a white liquid liner just to kind of represent, you know, that moon, a moon at night. So hopefully you like this look and you will enjoy watching me create it. So first impression thoughts, I will have to say, I really like this palette, nicely pigmented. I love Nomad as a brand in general. I really do. I think they are an amazing indie brand. I love the theme of their brand and the products they come out with are always excellent quality so this is no different now this palette does retail for 44 dollars it did sell out but the palette is on their website right now still to where you can pre-order it so you can go ahead pre-order it if you like if you'd like to save a little bit of money you can use my code colorful camille to get a little bit of a discount and you know that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and just jump into this eye look Okay, you guys, so the first shade that I wanna start out with today is this dark matte blue shade called Black Forest. And I'm just taking a small blending brush, tapping that in the outer corner of my lid. And as you can see right from the start, this shade is very, very pigmented, very, very beautiful and smoky. And so I'm just tapping it down, just getting that pigment right where I want it. And then as I build that pigment up, I'm just gently blending it out. And what I found with this shade, it blended out really, really nicely. As you can see with this eye look moving forward, I just gently blended out those edges and it was super easy to do. So now that I have that blue down, I'm just taking a brush that has no shadow on it and I'm gently blending out the edges so I can get that nice smoky look with no harsh edges and it's blending out like a dream. I love it. Next, I'm going into this beautiful orange shade and it's called Frankenstein. <laughs> and I'm just taking another small fluffy brush and tapping that down on the inner portion of my lid. I wanted to keep this look simple, but I also wanted to make sure that my look was a representation of a good portion of the shades in this palette. So as you can see, I'm just tapping it down, building it up. And I feel like it would be even brighter and bolder on a light base. So I really, really love this shade. I think this might be one of my favorite colors in the palette. So like I said, I went in with a white water activated liner and I'm trying my hardest to be as neat and precise as possible with this line. And I think I did an okay job. Usually my hand is so shaky that the line is just all over the place, but <laughs> I tried to be very careful today. And it's very difficult for me when I do use a light liner, when I put my lashes on, I don't know why it just, it's really, really hard to keep it looking neat. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and risk it today for this look and I'm glad I did because I really, really like the white contrast up against these smoky colors. Very, very pretty. So I'm using my Even New York Wonder Cat Lashes and I'm just trying to apply that just below that white liner right next to my lashes. And for the lower lash line, I'm going in with this forest green eyeliner from ColourPop. And to smoke out that lower lash line, I'm going into the matte green shade in the palette. It's called Grindle. And I'm just taking a dense fluffy brush to really smoke that lower lash line out and bring that green out. And this green is very nicely pigmented. I love this shade of green, that deep dark forest green. It just adds to the rich smokiness of this eye look. Now I did decide to go back into some of that orange shade and just gently smoke out the edge of that green so it's not such a harsh look on my lower lash line. You can see the difference here. And I really, really like what that gentle brushing of orange did for that green. So for the inner corner pop, I'm going into this beautiful gold shimmer shade called Boogie Man. <laughs> I like that name, Boogie Man. And well, when I was a kid, I didn't like it, but yeah, it's called Boogeyman. 
and I'm just tapping that in that inner corner. As you saw, I did spray that brush and that gold really, really pops. It's really gorgeous. For my lips, I'm just going in with a dark brown lip liner and I'm using one of my Milani shades that I pulled for fall. It's called Sensual. Nice, beautiful chocolate shade of lipstick. It's just a brown matte. I almost forgot my lower lash line, you guys. I had to go in and add some mascara just to complete this look. And so this is what we have, you guys. I hope you like it. I really like it. I had a lot of fun. I like trying to be creative and tell a story with my eye looks when it comes to these palettes. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I love this palette. I had a lot of fun using it and I would definitely say it's worth a buy. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you on the next one.